Should we worry about safety? So I know a lot of people have been asking me about safety of vaccines. And we do think this has been a very rapid vaccine development pathway, but it's also related to incidents. So if I compare this to the RV144 trial, which started in 2003 and enrolled 16 and a half thousand people, they had to monitor their enrolled subjects until 2006 to actually get a sufficient number of cases to determine whether they had an efficacious vaccine because the incidence was so low, even in Thailand. And they didn't announce efficacy until 2009. We are doing these vaccine trials in a pandemic where the incidence is extremely high. So in fact, we can enrol people very quickly and get the efficacy data very quickly. The other thing that's important to remember is that we are enrolling people in many, many different trials around the world. In the end, we may have more than a million people enrolled in trials. So we'll actually have an enormous amount of safety data, more than we've ever had for any other um, vaccine that's gone into humans in the past. And in fact, I think a lot of people don't actually understand what the safety concerns were with this vaccine. What we were really worried about was antibody dependent enhancement. And this is a process where the antibodies that you make to the vaccine actually give the virus another way of entering your cells that enhance infection and cause a massive inflammatory response. And this has been observed for respiratory syncytial virus dengue and the SARS coronavirus one um, vaccine candidates. Now, none of the virus challenge studies that have been conducted in macaques for the SARS coronavirus 2 vaccine or any of the human trials have shown any evidence of ADE occurring. So in fact, um, you know, virologists and immunologists are extremely relieved to see that none of the vaccines have reported this adverse event. So in fact, I think we are really in fantastic shape to be confident of the safety of this vaccine and also the efficacy.